Time for another check on our Friday forecast. And snow has started to move into parts of Rhode Island. TJ has all the details. Including here in the Providence metro area, I've been monitoring some of the uh, Rhode Island Department of Transportation cameras down there in Westerly, and we have already seen some snow covered roads. This is at Route 1 and 78. You can see there's already a coating of snow. Looks like traffic is flowing just fine, but obviously there could be some slick spots there and uh, soon here in the Providence metro area. All right, let's take a look at that live pinpoint Doppler 12 radar, and you can see the extent of this snow kind of a little one little burst of snow working its way across the region. Some darker shades working into the Foster Gloucester region and it extends all the way down uh, close to uh, Newport over Jamestown. We're going to be seeing this snow for a little while this morning. It might actually shut off and then we'll be seeing some more precipitation later in the day. And how much are we expecting? We're not expecting a lot, but a coating to as much as a half an inch in some spots, maybe a tiny bit more across South County, but you only need a little bit of snow to create some uh, traffic headaches. So use extra caution, especially on the side streets, on and off ramps. Allow yourself a little extra stopping room and keep, keep those speeds down. 17 in Coventry, 22 Fall River, 24 Newport, 18 degrees down there in Integrate. Here's the live city camp picture, and we've got some light snowfall here in Providence. We had great visibility just about a half hour ago, and now we're seeing uh, poor visibility. Really can't see more than about a half mile or so on off to the west. Down there at the University of Rhode Island, you can see the snowflakes falling now. We had uh, uh, quiet conditions for quite a while this morning. Watch the last couple of frames here. You can all just see the snow all of a sudden start coming down down there in Kingston. So you get the picture. It's snowing out. We are seeing the snow extending all the way back from Rhode Island into parts of uh, New York and into Pennsylvania until about nine o'clock or so. We're looking at the chance for some snow. Then it will be exiting the region, looking at a second batch of precipitation coming on through during the afternoon, and that one looks like it's going to be rain. At that time, enough warm air will be working its way in that most of it should be in the form of rain. And here we are around 9 o'clock on Saturday morning. We're dealing with some light rain showers. Rain could become heavy at times late in the day tomorrow, along with some gusty winds, and it should be out of here for Sunday morning around 8 o'clock. So your morning commute, giving it the yellow caution light as we are expecting some slick roadways with a light Light snow falling temperatures in the teens and 20s this afternoon. We're warming all the way up into the upper 30s, about average for the time of year. 38 downtown, 38 degrees on the east side of Providence with the chance for some light rain showers in the Providence area. 39 degrees in Warwick, Riverside uh, 38, 39 degrees in Warren and Barrington. Along the south shore, temperatures down here will have warmed close to 40 degrees. 38 degrees in Hope Valley with some light rain showers. Now up here in northern Rhode Island, it might take a little little bit longer for the precipitate or the temperatures to rise above freezing. So initially it's possible there could be a touch of uh, light freezing rain up here. I'll be monitoring that through the uh, morning hours over in southeastern mass upper 30s to around 40 degrees uh, during the afternoon. Seven day future cast rain possibly heavy at times on Saturday out of here for Sunday sunshine for Sunday 47 48 degrees on Monday chance for a few more rain showers on Tuesday. Let's get a look now at that morning commute. We